deal is set. Sweet Bouquet and Frolic will be the last two to come up. Frolic well in the market. is the second favourite. OK, Nicky's Gold is set and uh, Frolic in and the light is on. And we're all set now in the English Classic, 1,200 metres. And they're off and racing and Sweet Deal jump well set at Junction wide out. Frolic in contrast is being taken back. Nicky's Gold and Firestoker are showing plenty of speed and Firestoker is going to race to the early lead. Settles about a half length in front of Nicky's Gold. Junction on the outside. Sweet Deal is caught pretty deep around Let's Get Naughty Gold. Dunnetons right off the track that Ultramarine the fence. They're followed further back by Monopoly. Uh, pretty deep out is Sweet Bouquet followed by Bull Market San Marco. Frolic is last would only about be about five lengths off the leader. They're tightly bunched coming to the turn. Firestoker on the rails just leads from Junction and Sweet Deal is three wide yet again today. Followed by Nicky's Gold. Ultramarine behind them. Then Let's Get Naughty Gal. Dunnetons deeper out. Sweet Bouquet to the outside. Frolic is still last trying to make ground. He calls on the favourite Sweet Deal. It just heads off Junction. Let's Get Naughty Gal and here's Frolic putting in a big sprint on the outside. Sweet Deal is the leader but Frolic is starting to overhaul it quickly and Frolic has come from last to join Sweet Deal who's trying to fight back but Frolic is edging clear in the English Classic and that's been a great performance Frolic, boy the owners will get some bang for their buck with this one it beats Sweet Deal and let's get Naughty Gal a distant third followed by Bull Market then Junction further back to Nicky's Gold Sweet Bouquet, Ultramarine Dunnetown Monopoly San Marco and the early leader, Fire Stoker, compounded to finish last. Frolic, trained by Michael Friedman, handled by Tommy Berry. Well, hasn't she cut loose with a great run? She's a filly by Husson. They paid 100 grand for her at the English sales, and Tommy Berry pretty pumped about the win as well.